Fuel enters the flow limiter region of the injector, fills up the area around the flow limiter's check ball, and pushes down on the check ball, compressing the spring slightly. Fuel then enters and fills the accumulator section of the injector. From the accumulator, the fuel is directed to the top of the injector needle. The needle is balanced by pressures at the nozzle seat and at the needle control chamber at the opposite end of the needle. When the solenoid valve is energized by the ECM, it opens the chamber to the return fuel line. The pressure in the needle control chamber drops, the needle is lifted by the fuel under the plunger, the nozzle opens, and the injection begins. When the current in the solenoid valve drops to zero, the control valve returns to its seat. The pressure in the needle control chamber increases and becomes equal to the pressure at the nozzle seat. The needle closes due to a nozzle spring force and stops the injection.